and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for our Lab of Legends part two. We are now on hard mode. We just defeated normal with Braum, and so now we're going to be trying Braum again over on hard mode. So the difference here is going to be our enemy encounters now have higher health, so they'll start they'll start with more health over on their nexus, and some of their cards will also have items. You know, like how we put items on some of our cards, they will they will also have some. Today will be exciting day. So today will be exciting day. So let's go ahead and start with Braum for our next one. Okay, the uh, let's see. When you damage an enemy, reduce its power by the damage dealt, and start of game, draw one. Those are both okay, um, but not really that good. But they're both okay. This one, I don't care about at all. So I'm going to just go ahead and re-roll. Round start rally. I love round start rally. And then spells cost one less. Okay. When you draw a card, give allies plus one plus zero. This round over. All right, but I love round start rally. Let's take that. Okay, here we go. We're going to mulligan ice fill archer and keep the rest. So they're starting at 15 now instead of 10. Let's we'll see what kind of items they got. So this is the very first one again with all the spiders. And so I like keeping the avalanche against the spiders because they're just going to be going wide with all of those. Might as well trade. Perfect. I guess not exactly perfect. We would prefer to draw like the next card and then have um, our Braum be a 2 7, but still that'll do. Hmm. Pass turn. All right, that's going to be a big Alpha Wild Claw. That's going to be important in finishing the game out. Oh, no. I don't have my Avalanche available. Alright, so we've taken four, and remember that life total will not reset going into the next round. Brom's at six. Oh, they do play. They do play Vile Feast, and yeah, like they're gonna have Vile Feast in hand. Uh, can't do it. Can't do it. Sometimes I see hot. Just needs warm smile. Man, they're not even playing anything else. Not even letting me... Because, you know, I wanted to <clears throat> challenge someone with Braum and then take heart it. Which I guess I should just play take heart right now on this thing. And try to kill them. Okay. So we got the spiders. Now we get to add another champion besides Braum. Who do we got? Zed, Shen, or Elise? Ooh. I don't think it's Shen. Yeah, it's not Shen. It'd definitely be one of the other two. The thing that like Zed's cool, but the thing is, is like Zed, like these these two are pretty bad. Shadow Fiend and Deathmark are pretty bad. But I like the Zed with Round Start Rally. I guess Elise with Round Start Rally is pretty good too. 
I'm gonna try Zed. I've never played Zed in this mo mode before. Let's let's choose Zed. I've never had had Zed in the Lab of Legends. I've never had Elise either, though. I'd say Elise is pretty broken. Yeah, Shen's not bad, but Chen. Shen and Brom are kind of weird together. Again, they, they both take up the 4-mana spot, which isn't good. But then, you don't want to give Brom a barrier, because then Brom doesn't survive damage. Need to draw you the next turn, Zed, so you'll be a 4-3. Yeah, I could see Elise being the better play than what we just took. But yeah, <laughs> there you go. I feel like Zed with extra like extra power, Zed is gonna be awesome. I don't know why to attack with a one one. But yeah, Zed with like whenever we get more power ups and stuff, putting getting more powers on Zed is gonna be awesome. So each, each time a Mistwraith dies, they put a Mistwraith into their deck. That's what that whole animation thing is. Yeah, Zed attacking every turn does seem pretty broken. Alright, Braum is on the job. We play Braum, we win. Good job, Braum. That was all Braum. Two. All right, Zed round start rally, pretty nuts. Now let's start. Let's get some powers on the Zed. Um, man, I, I like both of them. So it's either ancient coin or pickaxe, right? We can have two cost Zed or plus two plus zero for the Zed. Let's go, let's go Ancient Coin. Ancient Coin's awesome, like the minus one cost. Get it out earlier. Ooh, we could have Ash for a reinforcement. Sure, it's better reinforcements than the others. Got another champion. I did play a, a Lamb's Respite combo deck with like a ton of combos and stuff. One time Goomba. Which I could probably find. Here. I'll send you the link on YouTube. If you just want to kind of check out like the list and like the intro and stuff. We didn't do the best with it, but it's cool. Alright, looking for Zed. There we go. So now, if we get the power, so like the import, another important thing with getting the ancient coin on the Zed is that if we get the power that says, you know, beginning of game, start with a two cost ally in play, like we had in normal last time, then we could start the game with Zed in play. And yes, the death, that does sound pretty busted, starting the game with Zed in play. And they're just, they're just kind of almost dead. They follow the wrong master. Yeah. Shadow is cut deep as any weapon. I am the Claim what is ours. So I'm hoping we find that combo, or like that uh, power for that combo. We we will get another power after Thrash. So that's the power that I want the most is start the game with we'll take what we need a to survive. two cost unit in play.
<clears throat> okay. That's not a good attack. So we're down to four. We will now have the attack token right away and so we can open attack. They get, what, like, 4-4? Four, four. Torture pro tortured Prodigy. Alright, and first attack with Braum means we win the game, just like always. There we go. Alright, this one's gonna be a faster run, I feel like, with even though they start with more health, but this Zed... Zed is killing them. Alright, what powers are we gonna get? Start a game, draw a card, don't care. Round start, refill your spell mana is good. Your created cards cost one less. Nah, I don't care about that. Uh, so I guess we could do the round start, refill your spell mana again. That, that one's always just pretty good. It's nice just having uh, all that mana, even though, like right now, we don't re we won't really use it, but we'll use it eventually. So we'll just go ahead and do that. Entreat or Prismatic Barrier. I guess I probably need the Prismatic Barrier to protect Zed from, like, whenever we get to PNC, they're going to have their burn spells. And we want to protect Zed. Um, Entreat, of course, is free, right? Because, like, round start, every single round we refill our spell mana, so this is just free, just draw a champion. But I'm going to I'm gonna go with the Prismatic Barrier. Get some protection. I know, it should be Prismatic, right? The Prismatic Barrier should be Prismatic. Double Ash. We actually did get a um, Prismatic Prismatic Barrier today. We got um, a Prismatic Chest whatever it's called, for uh, finishing up the... for doing the the lab wins. And so we opened that up after the first run, and that was the prismatic that we got, was Prismatic Barrier. All right, so far so good for them. We are in the first game of three with said with Freljord deck, so this damage could definitely hurt. So I wanted to play the, yeah, I wanted to play this take card on this Braum instead of, I could have barriered the Ash, but I'd rather have 4-9 Braum. Yeah, this is, oh right, I have the attack token. Could have attacked right there. Alright, level that up. Down to 18. <laughs> 
I guess I just pass. So that does a little bit better earlier. My shield is my sword. Hmm. <laughs> we should still be pretty fine, though. be just fine. But we're down to 18, so we got less life for the other stages. But this Braum is just taken over. I don't want them to be able to attack with a 7-1 Overwhelm, you know, challenge the Mighty 4-0. I guess I have to put Braum back in my hand. And open attack. Should be good. That one really was Braum winning it. <laughs> the other ones I was joking saying that Braum won it, but that one actually was uh, Braum winning it. Okay, so what do we get? What kind of reinforcements do we get here? Don't need Winter's Breath. Don't really need any of these. I'm going to re-roll. I mean, 2-2 two -two Young Witch is kind of cool, but... Meh. Yuck. These are not good. I'm just not interested in any of these. I guess we're using our last re-roll. All right, Omen Hawk's gonna have Challenger. And we're gonna put this staff on the Zed. So when I'm summoned to refill your mana equal to my cost, so that's not spell mana, that's re that's regular mana. So we get to, you know, so it costs zero. But it's important just to put more Zeds into the deck because we just want more Zeds also. Yeah, the, the cost reduction stand United was pretty pretty interesting. So I chose the Omen Hawk also just to put more Omen Hawks in my deck too. So like we're gonna have like Omen Hawk into the Zed more often. So yeah, more more Omen Hawks, more Zeds. Wow, and we started this game with neither, even after rerolling. Okay. 
We do need to like buff up the Zed more. Give it all would have been nice. Like how we had the, that give it all last time. But Zed still hits pretty hard. Round start rally. If we give Zed the um, when I die rally, that doesn't that doesn't transfer over to the living shadow, right? Because I remember that was like a key where we could have gave the Zed that we we did the minus one with the ancient coin instead. Because that would have been crazy if that was the case. Yeah, because that's an effect, not a keyword. Makes sense, but <laughs> imagine if we could have, though. How crazy that would have been. Because then you just you just rally forever. Because then, like, this thing dies, rally. <laughs> dies, and, you, know, you just keep on going. Okay, we 5 and 0. Much easier. Now we just gotta be able to defeat Sejuani, then we can just refill our health going into the PNZs. Ooh. Whoa, 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 whoa. All of these are great. All of these are great. But, okay. So like Blessing of Targon, when cast, cast me again. So you get so plus six plus six, which that's what I'm talking about. Like we need a buff up Zed. That's what I'm talking about. Plus six plus six. But this Flurry of Fists. This is plus we draw a card, but then if we're playing Zeds that already have quick attack, this gives plus one plus zero and double attack. So this double attacks a Zed and draws a card for free. I mean, I just gotta do that. Yeah, oh, Braum with Scout? Let's go. Braum with Scout. Yeah, plus six, plus six Zed's hard to pass up, but we're talking about... We're talking about, like, the turn we play Zed... I mean, I guess both of them we could play the turn... We could play both of them on turn two. Because how Zed refills the mana, so I guess we could do the other one on turn two also. But we're talking... We're talking double attack. Oh, I guess that is true. The double attack is wasted on the ephemeral. But when Zed hits, Zed will hit twice and so level up immediately right then. But yeah, I guess the double attack is wasted on the ephemeral. Rude. Ain't no real reason not to play this first. They're out of mana. Alright, so maybe maybe the plus six plus six was better. I don't know. Double attack's pretty sweet. It's easier it's easier to get more like other things that buff this up. <laughs> Who needs friends anyway? Wow. <laughs> Double attack's harder to come by. We can find other things that just simply buff. Well, GG's. Allies have attack, raise my power to match my health. Um, so this, okay, so I don't really care about this. All right, we have three powers. The first one, Trifarian Might, I don't care about. We're looking at the other two. This one is very good with Braum, right? Because whenever you attack with Braum, raise the power. So now Braum's going to be a 5-5. Five, five. But it doesn't really do anything with Zed. So it's good with Braum, doesn't help Zed. Uh, 
<laughs> you got a 2929 NASA Smurf. That's pretty awesome. All right, so perfect with Braum. And remember, our Braum has Scout. So that's cool. So, you know, yeah, that's cool. However, higher education is definitely going to be better with Zed. Because higher education, when you draw a card, give allies plus one, plus zero this round. That's that's very important with Zed. Um, but then when you, if we have, like, Fury of Fist, remember, Fury of Fist also draws a card. So that could be another plus one, plus zero. So, like, we could kill, kill people real fast with that. So I kind of think I'm just going to go the higher education. Um... Because I've actually I've never actually taken this perk before, but I think this with the Z I think that works really well. All right, now we're going to. Okay, so this this is one where we can choose any item, so we can give Z tough or plus two plus zero or barrier. I mean the barrier I guess is the safest, but so tough tough it will still die to get excited, you know, because we're thinking about the PNZ things. So I guess Barrier is the safest of, like, having it strike first. The Pickaxe, of course, is, like, the coolest. So I'm going to... Yeah, I think I'm going to go Barrier and just make sure it doesn't... Like, they can't just get excited and kill Zed, like, the turn I play it. It's the safest thing. The Pickaxe is, like, the, the coolest and will kill him the fastest, but... Barrier is the safest. Against these get excited decks. And Mystic Shots. I should maybe be keeping the Elixir of Iron as more protection, but I want to find the uh, double attack card. And honestly, we're probably going to just be able to draw another Zed first. Perfect one. No, we didn't. We did not find another Zed. So, I don't know. I could have gone double Omen Hawk right here and just assumed that I'm drawing another Zed because, you know, like, there's a bunch more in the deck. I'm drawing another Zed before the next turn. Or play it and start attacking. Okay. I'm not going to lie. I forgot about adding the two mana back. <laughs> yeah, there's the other one. Uh, well. <laughs> I have many faces. All right, this is pretty silly. Alright, where's our double attack? No double attack. Could, could play the Brahmin Scout. The thing is, is like, like, I wouldn't mind them shooting and killing the Zed, and then I get to play a bigger Zed. It's an exact copy, right? So that 
thing can be ephemeral. Is it the boosters? Who knows? What you looking for? Double attack. Double attack. Ugh, can't find the double attack card. That's actually kind of annoying. Those things are perfect at blocking Zed. Sweet. There it is, finally, double attack. Plus draw card. Buff them all up again. Okay. Good job, Braum. There we go. That's round seven. We got two more to go. Omen Hawk have Fury? So I don't want I don't want Brom costing six mana. Even though the the plus four plus four is really cool, but I just I don't want six mana Brom. So I guess we're gonna have Omen Hawk Half Fury. <laughs> Our little one one half fury. But we just get get another Omen Hawk in the decks. So now we got five of them. Mulligan. Okay, so we're leaving our Zeds on top so that after we play Omen Hawk, we draw. Dude. Fury Omen Hawk. <laughs> Make it a 2 2. There we go. Fury o Omen Hawk with Challenger. Oh no! No! My poor Omen Hawk was gonna grow. It was gonna be so good. I honestly should not be attacking here. Yeah, because I should just sit back and block. That's. Yeah, like if they attack out. Yeah, that was a bad attack. Alright, here is. Uh... Called it. After the Omen Hawk. So it's a 4 3. Yeah, Omen Hawk flew too close to the sun. Poor Hawk. Play by them. Is it the boosters? Who knows? We should be friends. You get to scout with Braum. <clears throat> get it damaged. And then take heart. It is easy. 
So their next is at yeah, their next is start at 35. So we'll take a little bit of time to kill them. Still not leveled up, Braum. Oh no! I don't know why they just. No, okay, they dealt one to Braum. Okay, so they didn't level up Braum. Okay, down to 11. Are getting there. Um. Do not fear the shrouded path. Rude. I was gonna just attack with everything. But we'll level up Rom. But yeah, I was gonna have uh, that Omen Hawk challenge the 5 1 and Rom challenge this, but. Okay, we are 8 0. We're gonna be heading on over to Victor. We got 19 health to take down Victor. Let's see what our uh, final uh, buff is going to be. Yeah, Braum, Braum's good. I don't, yeah, I don't know when the next patch with new champions and stuff comes out. I don't know when the, I actually, I don't know. When I, when cast summon a random one cost Poro, let's do it. That gives me more, more Flurry of Fists. And we'll get a one cost Poro. That sounds good. Poros are helpful. But now we get to Flurry of Fist this Zed more often. Yeah, the plus three, plus three, but ephemeral on the card that's ephemeral anyway. We went Omen Hawk and Zed. Alright, there's the Hawk. Y'all ready for this? We got 3-1 quick attack. Omen Hawk. Challenger. With Fury. Let's go. Because the Flurry of Fist gives a plus one plus zero, but then we also draw a card. But remember, whenever we draw a card, we give our things plus one plus zero. It's now this Omen Hawk's just gonna eat everything. Chomps. We have the best Omen Hawk. They can't even they can't even do anything. Whatever they play just dies. And I can give it double attack if I need to also. The hawk is too strong. And we have round start rally too, so if they play something, I kill it. Alright, so that's a four six. You play this first. Man, I need to give this double attack though. My shield is my sword. Have you met my shield? Sorry, Poro. Do not deny me. 
make quick work of you. Good luck. And there we go. Turn four kill. We go as one. Ten damage from the double attack Zed. Claim what is ours. Angry Hawk. <laughs> Dude, that that fury of the fist. Because never knew this Omen Hawk was going to be so buffed, right? We're like, oh, I guess we just put Challenger on this Omen Hawk. That doesn't really matter. You know, just laugh it off. And then you're like, oh, we'll just put Fury on this Omen Hawk. That doesn't really matter. We'll just laugh it off. And then suddenly, now we Flurry of Fist it. Now it's a, you know, big quick attack Challenger. Then to go along with our other power that that uh, adds the power to it. That was a crazy, crazy. All right, so there we go. That one, that one was a little faster. Then last time we had we had some good choices there. Zed and Omen Hawk were awesome. But then like these these top four, I, I like how they put those at the top four. Like those were the four most important cards. And of course, those are I guess the four with the buffs. But that that's what our deck was all about. Is Zed, Omen Hawk, Flurry of Fist, Braum deck. That was a this was a cool deck. I liked this run. The round start rally. Yeah, this was a good run here. Yeah, that was a that was a good run. All right, so experiment succeeded. So there we go. That's hard mode for Braum on Lab Legends. Make sure you check out our next episode, which is going to be heroic. So now we need uh, Braum has finished up hard. Now we need Braum to be heroic. And then after that, Braum will get legendary. All right, so those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button, leave those comments. Let me know what you think of the Lab Legends and everything like that. And hopefully y'all have uh, just had some fun, just sit back, chilling, watching this, and you know even... Uh, just being able to play these modes. Hopefully you'll have a lot of fun with it. All right, but that's our Lab of Legends with Braum on hit on uh, hard mode. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.